Speaking of what well, started off as a bed of roses, mm -hmm. and all this week we're celebrating our heroes because Friday is mm -hmm. Mashuja Day, right? Yes. Mashuja Day, we celebrate our heroes. Last week we were celebrating more heroes. Mm -hmm. This week we're going to extend it because it was so popular and you all liked it. Heroes, all this week culminating in Mashuja Day. Mm -hmm. And our hero today is a man many of you are very familiar with. He took Kenya all the way to the pinnacle of cricket. At one point, even beating if I'm not mistaken, West Indies, Morris Odumbe, and fell from, became, fell from hero to zero and has been trying to get his life back since then. He tried once, twice, but he has never given up, which is the best thing about Morris Odumbe. He's never, ever given up. Morris, welcome to Hot 96. Thank you very much, Jeff. Good to see you, man. Sorry I'm late. No Good problem, no problem. Good to see you. It's a Monday morning. I know traffic was a mess out there. It's crazy. But let me ask you, you did beat West Indies, right? Yes, we did. At one point? At one point, yes. Speaking to the mic, Morris. All right. There you go. Uh, uh, what was that like, Morris? Uh, it was like um, <clears throat> Arambesters beating Brazil. <laughs> you know? <laughs> or, or, or rugby team beating New Zealand. Yes. All Blacks. Yeah, All Blacks. Yes. So it was like that. It was like that. Because, you know, West Indies at one point, we all know, were the best in the world. Yes. Yeah. And for Kenya to beat them, that's something that I'll never forget. Did Where you? was this? That was in, in India, 1996 oh. World Cup. Nine, oh. 1996 oh. World yeah. Cup. Some of you are not born, I think. So. Oh, yeah. Jalas was like born. three. Yeah. Born? <laughs> are you crazy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is I know you better. <laughs> so was this semifinals or what, what? No, that was just in the preliminaries. Preliminaries. Yeah. And yeah. how far did Kenya make it in that World Cup? Um, it was our first time in that World Cup. Um, we, we lost in the first round. Okay, we didn't ma manage to go to the oh, next round. Okay. But 2003, we reached the semifinals in South Africa. Against? Against India. We lost to India in the semifinals. Oh, wow. Which is the highest, highest point Kenya rug, uh, cricket, cricket ever got itself into. True. That was the World Cup. That was the World Cup. Have yeah. we ever qualified again for the World Cup? Uh, since 2003, no. Since 2003? Since 2003, 14 no. years. Yeah. 14 years, 14 never years. Qualified. we've never qualified. Even mm. at the moment, we're even struggling to yeah. beat the t teams like Holland, mm. Nepal. Mm. Just recently, we were in uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't go. I don't know why, but we lost one game and we won one. Where okay. does that place us? Uh, we are fifth in the log, so we need to beat Scotland mm -hmm. and probably another team for us to qualify. Because what, the first two qualify or just the uh, first uh, one? I think the first three. Oh, first three. Yeah. Uh, what happened between uh, that time where we had the Ticolos, the uh, Doombays uh, and everything? Things just started going south, south. for cricket. What happened? Um, I think uh, it's not, be I will not say it's because of me. I remember, if you remember, Jeff, mm -hmm. when the ICC International Cricket Conference came after me in 2004. Yes. yes. Uh, when they said I was associating with bad boys. Correct. Um, a bookmaker. Right. And um, <clears throat> I was suspended for five years for inappropriate contact. You know, people yeah. thought it was much fixing, but it was never much fixing. It was inappropriate contact. And I was given five years. Suspension. Suspension. Uh, Internationally. And, so and, you, and you couldn't appeal it? Well, I was told if I wanted to appeal, I took them to court here. Yes. And they told me that... Um, I have to sue them where they are right. registered, and that's in London. Yeah. Now, where do I get that money to go and sue ICC? And when they did that, they ostracized you, didn't they? Properly. Huh? Properly. And nobody stood by me. And you'll be shocked to hear this, that uh, then I even spoke to President Uhuru. He was not president then. Mm -hmm. And I even told him, hey, Mushimiwa, mm -hmm. these people are coming after me, and nobody is standing behind me. And he was like, oh, really? Okay, let's see if we can follow it up. But yeah. unfortunately, things happened and we never caught up again. Did you feel let down by the system, by your teammates, by your club, by totally, your organization? Totally. They actually put my head out there to be chopped. They threw you under the bus? Uh, totally. Under the bus. Nobody stood by me. I was all alone. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest here first. You see, maybe people don't know what really happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going a bit too fast. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Morris. Yes. Were you involved in any match fixing or bad contacts or things that jeopardized the face of cricket, both internationally and your team? Did you betray your team? 
That's no, where you should start. Look, we were always the underdogs when we were playing the big teams. Mm. So uh, uh, you cannot pay Arambe Stars to lose to Brazil. Because they're going to lose anyway. Anyways, you're right. So when we beat teams like West Indies, India, right, it's not us who are being paid to beat them. So the question is, how do you pay an underdog to lose? Fine. I knew the gentleman, mm -hmm. Jagdish Soda. Jagdish, yeah. Right? He had a reputation of being a match fixer. But then... And I, you had contact with him? He was a friend, right? Yeah. And, you know, when you travel, you know, you can't ask somebody for his CV before... You know, you start talking. You know, you go somewhere, you're mm. sitting in a bar, and mm. somebody approaches you. Mm. What do you do? Who are you before I talk to you? You know, things like that. Yeah. And we became friends. But then, the, why? Because I was never suspended for match fixing. It was inappropriate contact mm. that would have brought the game into disrepute. So my lawyer, the late Isham Kapila, asked them, which game did he bring into disrepute? There was none. And if you look at the witnesses that they brought... I'm sorry to say this. Most of them are my ex-girlfriends. Oh, let's talk about that. Wow. <laughs> because oh, is it your ex-wife or ex-girlfriend? Ex-wife yeah. and, and ex-girlfriend. Who, who literally... Had a bone to pick with me. Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. What? Maurice. I don't know why, but... Uh, and they were flown in. They were not even locals. They were flown in by the ICC to come and testify against, against you. Yes. Anybody who had anything against me would have been called up. Do you have anything to say about Maurice Odumbe? All expenses paid, fly down to Nairobi. What is this, a case of hell hath no fury like or a what? Woman's mm. yes. So how did these people know you are girlfriends? Well, first what they did, they asked for my uh, bank statements, mm -hmm. my telephone uh, bills. Mm -hmm. So any number that they'll come across, they will call. That's a betrayal of the highest order, Maurice. It's tough, Jeff. From your women to your club to your country. Mm -hmm. And every time Maurice or Dumbe try to come back, they would, they would try and dis discourage it or, or stop it. They, they'll stop it. If I, even after my five years... Mm. Ban. Ban. Mm. Which ended in? 2009. Mm -hmm. 2009. 2009. I tried to come back. Mm. They wouldn't let me. Even now, why am I not traveling with the team? And I've been put there as the batting coach. Oh, he might go back to his old mate. So you are the batting coach for Kenya cricket? Yes. So you bat with the boys? Yes. But, but you you're cannot travel? No. Hey, come on. Yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, wow. Odumbe, Odumbe, uh, uh, it's there must cool. be something really... Really they say when, the, when they smoke, there's fire. The match after the ban, mm -hmm. uh, 209 up to today, how many years? Seven. Seven, seven years. Seven, eight they years. still can't allow you to, yeah, travel. to travel. To travel. And remember, even when I came back, I was one of the top players in the league, and I was still not selected. What's this mother Rao, Maurice? What have, is I, this I, mother Rao? I have Rao? no idea, Jeff. You know, it has put me through depression. I'm under medication. Mm. Suicidal thoughts, you know, because I just can't believe it. The good thing is I'm clean. That's the good thing. Have you, uh, have you ever contemplated suicide? I have. Really? Yes. Because you said what? Why stay with this? Why, uh, why not end it? Yeah. Why, why suffer? Why go through all this? You know, what's the point? You know, when I was playing, when I was representing my country, mm. you know, I was doing it for the country. I wanted to put my, my country's name on the world map. But after I was thrown out, after they threw me under the bus, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, fine. I will try and make a comeback. Still, nothing doing. To this day? To, 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 up to today. And the reason they tell you you cannot travel with the team is what? I'm disruptive. Huh? Yes. I'm disruptive. But you're the batting coach. I am the batting coach. I am the batting coach, but I don't travel with the team. And how is it, in your opinion, how is the team doing? They're doing well. The batting has improved. But then I'm being told, if you go with the team, can you guarantee they're going to win? How, who can you, give you, a guarantee? You can. You can. You cannot. In fact, the last trip they went to South Africa, and probably this interview will get me into trouble. <laughs> um, at the last minute, I, the, I got the visa and everything. Mm -hmm. 11th hour, they call me. Sorry, mate, you're not going. What? Yeah. Visa, everything was there. Ticket? Everything. You packed? Ready. And they said, Morris? Sorry. 
you're not going. And this is the fourth time. Oh, come on, yeah. man. This is the fourth What time. are they trying to do to you, Morris? What are they trying to do? I don't know. I don't know. And, and probably that's what affected me. And I couldn't come for the interview. That's why I felt sick, because I think my system cannot just handle it. Yeah. What keeps you going? I mean, I have to ask you this, because, you know, every time wow. you're rejected and rejected and rejected, what keeps you going? I don't know. To be honest with you, I, I think I'm just not a loser. That's, that's, that's what keeps me going. You know, it's too easy to throw in the towel, but it's tough, Jeff. It's I can tough. imagine. It's tough. What do you tell these people who threw you under the bus, these girlfriends, these people you used to hang out? What do you tell them? What, what can you say? You know, they did what they had to do. So good luck to you people, right? I'm still here, fine. I'm struggling. Life is tough, mm. but I'm still trying to keep my head above water. Do you still go to the club every day? Do you still go and, and, and practice with the kids, with the boys? Yeah, I do. I do. I still do, but, you know, there's an element of madara, you know, mm. lack of respect. Mm. You know, this guy. Charlie, yeah, he's a mm. Charlie. Huh? Yeah. You, know, you don't drive, you know, you don't live that life anymore. So, you know, and also... Now they're judging you. Yeah, totally. And and what about the board or, or you know, the, the, the cricket board? How do they treat you? I think they're the ones who make sure that I don't travel. Hi, 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 so hi, it's hi, their hi. call. Yeah, no. correct. Yeah. They make the call. They make the call. So when they tell me you're not going, you're not going. So they just want you to quit, right? I think so. They want you to quit? Yeah. Just let it go. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's frustrating, Jeff. It's really, really frustrating. When you think of Mashu Jade coming up at the end of this week, Morris, mm. do you, and, and you represented Kenya at the highest levels, beating West Indies, beating India. Mm. What goes through your mind? Do you think you've been left out of this whole Mashu Jar thing? Have you, do, you think, do you wish you had studied maybe physics or biology and, and forget this stupid cricket stuff? True. I wish I had. And I still want to go back to school, and I think that's what I'm going to do now. Because it, it's too much. You know, I, I just can't take it anymore. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's painful. But you've let them win, then. If you do that, you let them win. Well, sometimes... It gets you know, to a point where mm, you can yeah, only take so much. You can only take so much. much. Yeah, you, know, you can't keep hitting your head against the wall mm. all the time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I can only take so much because it's affecting my health. And it's not pretty. Yeah. These kids you're batting, you're helping bat. Mm -hmm. Do they remember your good days? Do they remember your Maurice or Dumbe's glory days? No, they do. They do. Some are very appreciative. Uh -huh. Yeah, they've seen, they've, they know, have played with their fathers. And they, they tell, the, their fathers tell them Maurice mm -hmm. was in a class of his own. Mm -hmm. That they know. Yeah. That they know. But somehow there's, there are other elements mm -hmm. were trying to throw in some dirt. Yes. And that must be painful for you. It is. Because you're trying to build a team. I mean, it's teamwork we're talking about here. Uh, absolutely. This is Kenya we're talking about right. here. You know, let's, let's pull together. But, you know, when you try to do good, some people, I think, probably it's inferiority complex. Mm. I don't know. Mm. That Morris is coming here with his ideas mm. and, you know, and that's why they say I'm disruptive. Yeah. And they say, uh-huh. They don't want you to overshadow them. There you go. Wasn't there a point you wanted to go abroad and, and, and play cricket for another country or another club? Oh, I had chances, many chances. I would have changed my citizenship a long time back. I had many chances, but... They all wanted you? They all wanted me, but I always kept coming back. And you can remember those days going to England, you didn't need visas mm -hmm. just to walk in. Mm -hmm. Holland, everywhere. There were times I wanted to go and play in New Zealand. They refused to give me a release letter. Yes. So many times I've had offers. I've, I've been called to England to go for trials. Mm. Oh, sorry, you can't go now. Why? Oh, England at the moment, I think Australia is visiting, so the, not many people will watch you. Those are the kind of excuses. And remember those days there are no emails. Right. So they love to go through our association. And if they, if they go through the association, mm. the letter might not reach you. Mm -hmm. So how would you know? You only come to realize later. Later. Yeah. That, oh, you had a chance to go overseas. And they discouraged it or they, yeah. they quashed it. Totally. My goodness. Morris, mm. do you regret getting into cricket? Because, you know, obviously this has been your passion for the last, what, 20 plus years. Do you regret? I, Jeff, that's a tough one, to be honest. You know, and when I remember in school, I used to play rugby and football. Mm. 
No, I don't know. It's it's a tough one, but <laughs> yeah, regrets. You know, when you look back, all the time you've wasted. Yeah. It. So, so it's, it's not easy. It's tough. It's tough. Some people don't know this, but uh, you know, what made you switch to cricket and not the rugby or football? What made you make that decision? I think my late brother, Kenneth, was the first indigenous African to play for Kenya. And then where we grew up in Ngara, mm -hmm. there was a cricket ground just next door. So we'll go there and watch the Indians play. And that's how we picked it. But we were still playing football. You know, we'll go to Ziwan and play that Kutubiru and all that. Mm -hmm. And but cricket and and also because cricket paid my school fees, it li literally took care of everything, not only myself but my brothers as well, mm. and al also other African players. Cricket did look after us. Yeah, yeah. Look, Morris. At the end of the day, this cricket board, this association. If you went to them and said, "Listen, I apologize for what I did. Whatever it is you think I did, I apologize." Is that what they're looking for? Is that is that you know? Because they've crucified you enough. Are they looking for an apology? What, what is it that I've done? You see, this is what I don't understand. Yeah. What, what, is it because I was too good? I don't know. Because as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't think I stepped on anybody's toes. So, I don't know. Maybe they uh, thought you were better than them. Or you I, thought you were better than them. No, or you I, proved I, you were better than I, them. I proved I was better than them. I was good. And they didn't like that? I think they didn't like that. Would you just then apologize if that's what they're looking yeah. at? Yeah, I'll say, sorry, I was good. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was good. <laughs> because, you know, I'm telling you, Morris, this, this, you've been living hell. Total hell. And maybe, you know, look, we don't know the story. Only you and, and your God knows the real story. Mm -hmm. But my goodness, I mean, there's a point where you have to say, you know what, enough is enough, guys. Yeah, you know, you know the good thing is I don't have a gun, probably... It would have been over by now. You'd have used it? Yeah. You'd have probably used it? I could have used it. Seriously? Seriously. You know, when I look at all these other top guys who have been going through depression, you know, they've, they've ended it. Yeah. They've ended it. And you've thought a lot of times about doing this? So many times. So many times. And what pulls you back from the abyss? Because every day, and I'm saying, telling you this because there's not a day that passes that Jalango and I are not reading in the papers. Mm. Suicide here, suicide mm. there, this kid here, this policeman there. Yeah. Suicides are on the rise. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not pushing anything here. I'm just saying <laughs> what's kept you from the edge so that maybe someone listening out there no. can take a cue from you. I think having good friends, family, does matter. You know, always trying to tell you it's not that bad mm. you know it's not that bad mm. like even recently when i was sick there's a friend of mine a major you know he called me i said you know i'm having suicidal thoughts this is just a week ago mm. and he said no morris don't talk like that please come and see me so i went and i saw him he said what's the problem i said major it's too much it's, it's really bothering me he said morris you come we'll talk but don't 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 be in a rush. Mm. Just take it easy. Mm. You know it's never easy. You know look, you are on the outside looking looking inside. Yeah, yeah you know it's, it's tough. Yeah, you know I remember there was this athlete Kennedy achieved 400 meters. He also committed suicide in Mombasa. Yes, and he was also a good friend of mine. Because of frustrations, Frustration, because of yeah. and a very good athlete, 400 meters. Again, Morris, if someone is, the, 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 your message to kids out there, mm. especially who want to get into cricket, mm. which traditionally is not a sport that uh, many people play, but, you know, <laughs> Kenya has done quite well. Mm. What do you tell them if they're determined to get into cricket? If they're determined, you see, if they, if they look at what is happening to me, who would want to take up cricket? See, this is what I tell them. Mm. Mm. You know, so I don't know. It, it, it's a tough call. To me, I'll rather, I'll say... Do something that will make you grow and you'll not be frustrated, that you love your life in your own hands rather than relying on people who will be making decisions on your behalf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you think of, again, we have Mashuja Day, October 20th on Friday. Do you, do you consider yourself a Shuja? I don't know. For, for the past few years, 
I'm just being an ordinary Joe. Final thoughts, Maurice. Final thoughts going in. You know, it's it's Monday. It's the 16th. We have uh, your whole life ahead of you, I would say. What do you say? I'll say, well, I'll just keep hanging in there and um, take it day, one day at a time. One day at a time. Maurice Adumbe, as always, you know, I enjoy talking to you. And, uh, you know, you've, you've lived a rough life. I have. You had the good times. You were, you know, you were at top of your game. Totally. And uh, enjoying life to its fullest mm -hmm. and enjoying other things to their fullest. Right. But whatever happened, man, you know, no one deserves to be dragged down after being thrown under the bus the way you have. I know, Jeff, but that's life. Maurice Odumbe there on this week that we are celebrating Shujahs. It's your thoughts, your feelings. Do you think Maurice Odumbe should be considered a real Shuja? Let us know. Right here on the Hot 96. It's the Hot Breakfast with Jeff and Jelano.